So we've just found this old uh, Korean theme park. The pile of tires. Kids had hours of fun here. Oh, someone's left their wheelbarrow here. What is that? Oh, but sorry, brother. Because it's totally it's okay because I go. Hey, this, this is Jerry. Hi, welcome to Burakai. Welcome to the jungle. This is the best tour guide, allegedly, <laughs> on the island here at Burakai. Um, so today we have hired a scooter or a motorbike, and he's just going to take us out, uh, show us a few spots, go around the whole island for four hours, and see what we can capture. Let's go. Hey. I'm getting sandwiched here between yeah. two Filipino guys. Um, but hey. We're this... eating at a mangrove. <laughs> where, where are we going? Mangrove. Mangrove? Mangrove first, mangrove. Mangrove, all right. That's where we're going. So one thing I've actually noticed that they do here in the Philippines, which is actually really cool, uh, the mountain dew bottles, because they're they're fluoro, they fill them up with sand and they make like little little uh, little fences, little decorations with them. I came through one city and they spelt out the name of the city in like one of those mesh fences. So yeah, recycling in a different way. He's taken me to one of the famous uh, influencer spots. Um, I've actually seen this photo on Google or Instagram. It's one of those bendy, bendy um, palm trees, coconut trees. So, probably gonna jump on it and get a photo like the other 400 people. Okay, we are going to walk up the tree. Um, do you, does this guy own the tree? So we're gonna try something a little bit different. We're gonna see how far we can walk without falling over. I've already got the death wobbles. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my God. This man has saved me with the stick. Thank you. Oh, there we go. We've got a stick. I still feel like I'm going to fall in the water. There we go. Oh, I'm going to bail. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Thank you, brother. This guy deserves a tip. This guy deserves a tip. Thank you. We eat some ocean. The best park in Boracay. That's exotic food. Alright, so you hear that? We are going to try some food off the street. Sea urchin. Um, haven't had that before, but yeah, he's, it's like he's just pulled them straight out of the water and they are here. They look a bit weird. Um, have a look at this. Wow, okay. So they're a bit, they're spiky, are they? Hello, how are you? I'm Elda. You put some calamansi, just how much? 25. 25. Well, that's cheap. And did you catch these yourself or your husband? She did? Oh my yes. god. Wow. Woman. Today or yesterday? <laughs> ah, this morning. Oh wow. So she's just going in and cut, morning, uh, cut all six. the... 6 o'clock. Yes. Wow. Early. So I, I, I just eat this, do I? Yeah, with calamansi. No, no, not the shell. Not the shell? <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the shell. Not the shell. <laughs> Alright, lucky this lemon. guy, I was going to eat the shell. <laughs> I would have fucked you right. Yeah. <laughs> one lemon? Yeah, yeah, a bit of, bit of, bit of lemon. Um, and what, you just grab a, like a spoon or? One. Okay. I don't think I'm going to like it, but I'll give it a go you might, anyway. You might, you might like the buzz, but like magic mushrooms. Bullshit, really? No, I don't. Oh, <laughs> this guy is a bloody comedian over here. <laughs> uh, he's just told me they're like magic mushrooms. Okay. Um, I'm gonna. We have, we have Character building. Calm, dry, and fresh. <laughs> the first thing I've noticed with sea urchins is if I to hold this, I'm spiking myself. So that's the first obstacle. 
Second obstacle is, what does it taste like? Probably not real nice. <laughs> It's better than I thought. That's actually all right. I wouldn't get it again, but it's good for this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. That's what it looks like. So, Jerry, I was curious. What does the California Republic flag mean? Oh, I don't know yet. <laughs> oh, he doesn't know. I thought, I thought he was going to say some like history about it, but I yeah. guess because I knew cut one. that bit. Cut that. Oh, you silly dog. Silly dog. <laughs> So it looks like we've just entered a more uh, jungle kind of thing. We've just gone up the hill. Have a look at this. Oh, he's weaving. Okay, so we've just found this old uh, Korean theme park. What was Dreamland? Dreamland, it was called. Well, wow, take a look. It's it's all closed down now. How do I get in? Over here? Ah, uh, some kids here. We have been granted access to the once popular Dreamland. The Filipino theme park that was owned by Koreans, which failed sometime in the 90s. I'm just making that up. I don't know when it failed, but probably a while ago. What year did this shut down? Uh, just a uh, pandemic. Oh, because like three no years sure, ago. six months, no problem. For COVID. Open it after six months, but COVID wow. is wow. Hey, I always love um, coming into sort of abandoned places, but an abandoned theme park? Amazing. He says it was closed a few years ago, but it seriously looks like this place has not been touched for 20 years or something. That's a basketball hoop. Just a makeshift one there. It works, so that's all good. Dreamland in Barakai was known to have some of the most amazing rides, some of the most amazing attractions, including the pile of tires. Kids had hours of fun here, climbing up on the tires, falling over, that kind of thing. Gotta rub their trunk for good luck. But the good luck of this park is over. They've even got some angry birds here. So I can confirm it is not from the 90s, but it has deteriorated. It has seen better days. Seven years. Seven years shut. Seven, yeah, seven years. And then uh, closure, after closure pandemic. After closure, open it. Two months after pandemic. Shut down. Yeah. So we've got some goodies in here, some hard hats, a motorcycle helmet, a gotcha surf hat, which looks like it's from the 80s. Holy moly, big <laughs> scared, scared me. I saw it in my peripheral vision. Uh, what else have we got in here? Someone's bags, some shoes. More highlights over there. Yeah, not too much to see in this spot. Medicine cabinet. So you can see along here, this was probably the old go-karts track that they had. Coming around here with all the, the tire wars. I'd love to see some, some videos or photos of what this place was like. I might even go on Google and find someone and just uh, drop them in. Have a look here at the entrance of this place. Oh, someone's left their wheelbarrow here. Got Trick first? Art Museum. Yeah. Okay. Bruce Lee. Oh, what? So there's artwork and stuff on the walls. That's some interesting artwork. That's actually cool.
and you've got this random toilet in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And then you've got this artwork of this guy and he's saying, don't open the door on me, I'm doing a shit. What is that? Thai, in the coconut, under the coconut, that's why they related to the, uh, I mean, uh, old, old fashioned. This is modern. He's so innocent, he said that's coconuts. I think it's something else. Yeah. Well, should we go up? Yeah, let's go up. Just be a bit careful. There's crap everywhere here. That's some cool artwork with a shark popping out. What what uh, confuses me about these places? History. Yeah, the thing that confuses me about these places. So Jerry says it's only been shut for seven years. <laughs> Where's the roof? <laughs> How does a roof fall down in seven years? <laughs> Maybe scavengers have come and grabbed all the the materials or something like that. Yeah. But yeah. Transfer to another owner. So Jerry's just told us this was the cockfighting arena. Now, not what you're thinking, um, but chickens, yeah? They you mean chickens chicken or fighting, yeah. real cocks? <laughs> oh, like chickens, okay. Uh, illegal in most countries, but they did do cockfighting right here. So it just looks like basically whoever's bought this place, they've just, um, yeah, used it to, to breed their, their <laughs> roosters. And they're all tied up. Let's go. See if we can uh, interview one. What was that? He said, don't go close. They're probably crazy. They'll probably just like scratch my face off. So he knows best. So this theme park here has only been closed for seven years, since 2015. I just don't understand how it gets into this state. <laughs> like it's just, it's just so, ah, uh, just deteriorated. Like, look at this. This was their old toilet block. It looks like it's been in a in a war zone or something. So yesterday when I was at the school, I saw these kids, not these ones, but some other kids playing basketball. And I said, can I have a shot? First go, I got it in. I'm gonna ask if I can do it again. Can I have a shot, bro? <laughs> After you. Hey, all right. Here we go. Can I get it first go? Or can I not? <laughs> oh. You know a video editor, maybe we can like make it go in or something. Thank you guys. There you go. Two more subscribers. <laughs> Back on the bike we go. How do we beat that? That was actually pretty amazing. Um, that's the thing the tour guys, guides think that you don't want to see. Um, they want to bring you to the beautiful beaches, which are great, and all that kind of thing, but this is the kind of thing I like. So, yeah, great idea driving past here. That was cool. Hello, how you doing? Oh, look at this part. You just never think of this part of Borokai when you see all the, the beach photos and stuff on Google. So are we like in the middle of the island? Yeah, so this is the middle. Um, I think like we're in our old little country town. Have a look at these buildings. So it looks like we're going into the high-end place called Boracay New Coast. And it's no entry without helmet, which I think is good because it would have been good if I had one. Um, so these guys here on the side of the road actually hand helmets to people who don't have them. I think I look good with a yellow stack hat. Is that, is that gonna suit me? That look good, yeah? Okay, now that I look like an eight year old with my stack hat on, we are gonna head through the Barakai New Coast. The helmet seems to be stuck on my head, so... Huh? 
guess this is uh, for the rest of my life. Yeah. Oh, okay, there we go. Cool. <laughs> Check out this water. Hey, this is the best part of Barakai. It's all hidden. There's no one here. This is like the best beach I've seen. Yeah. And why is there no one here? It's like deserted. It's um, Boracay's best kept secret here. But um, we're going to have a look at this rock, right? And it's it's a big archway. What's the rock called? That that rock we saw. Keyhole. The keyhole rock. Um, it's just down here. And it's a bit of a tourist attraction. What's that? Do you want an interview? <laughs> <laughs> you do. Hi. You want an interview. Hello, what is your name? Ah, uh, mine's it. Wrong, sorry, wrong hand. That's uh, rude. Nice what meeting is it? you. Nice meeting you. Mm -hmm. Are you from here, the Philippines? Yes, yes. But just not, just not this part. Mm -hmm, you're mm -hmm. from Manila, aren't you? Yes, yes. Ah, see? I know a Manila girl when I see one. And you're <laughs> Hi, from... Doug. You're from Manila as well? Yes. That's my auntie. That's your auntie? Yes. Ah, oh, cool. You look the same age. Uh, <laughs> wow, thank you, sir. <laughs> Oh, so we just found out we can't even get into walk under the Kiha rock, but oh my god, who put that pole there? Yeah, we can't get in there, but have a look at this. There you go, Keyhole Rock. Introduced to a private beach here, and we've got Limpy. The uh, beach dog here. Poor dog. Uh, but yeah, have a look at this beach. I don't know another describing word, but beautiful. What would? How would you describe this beach? Beautiful. Yeah, and quiet. Beautiful and quiet. There's a new one. Um, but we can see some storm clouds approaching in the distance. We see the sunrise. A couple of islands. But um, there is something I do see on Google when I was researching this place. This is like the place that has the, the sandcastle with the famous uh, Boracay. And the guy that builds it, have a look. Here he is. Hello, guys. Hello, buddy. To How are you? Thank you. Yeah, Marco, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Beautiful place uh, you got here. This is uh, Gilligan Beach. Gilligan Beach? Yeah, this is Gilligan Beach. Ah, it's it's nice. a turtle island, a snorkeling area. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, beautiful. If you go to the snorkeling area, you can see different color fish and different color corals. And I've seen this on Google. Yeah, um, Sand Castle. And, and you're the guy Castle. who built it? Yeah, this built. You're famous. And, and are you the guy that builds it every day or they just... You every get, day. You get different people yeah, every day. Every day oh, he did the it. Day. And the name. And you haven't thought about making it out of cement or something? No, it's not allowed here. <laughs> it's not allowed. No, I'm only My joking. My friend, you like fresh coconut? I have fresh coconut here. You have fresh coconut? Yeah. Yeah, of course, mate. Yeah. How's this for service? Why right, coconut laying me down here on beachfront. Beautiful property. This guy, this guy is my hero. <laughs> So we're moving a little bit down the beach uh, to get away from everyone. Not my idea, but yeah, that's what Jerry wants to do. So Jerry gets what he wants. We're making the coconut guy walk a bit. Oh, didn't see you there. Just enjoying my coconut in paradise. Does it get any better than this? This place is amazing. It's, a, it's the best place on the island, but there's no one here. But I'm just paid a bomb for the coconut, but whatever. It's nice. So we did the coconut. Now it is time for the beer. What are we thinking, a red horse? Uh, we have here like San Miguel. Palot, my friend. Do you, do you know Palot? Red horse. Street food. Yes, the most yes. Most famous in the Philippines. Yes, yeah, disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I had it already. Oh, really? It's just my friend what here. We, got? Red we have horse. a red horse, San Miguel. Where? Kelsin. What would you recommend? You're the professional. This one. Yeah, not sure. All right. He's trying to say that I need to lose some weight. 
have the San Mig light. Oh my God, I'm getting tired. This takes it out of you actually, just driving around and seeing new places. And I haven't ate, but we are heading up. Oh look, there's a jail. We are heading up here to finally see the best view of the island. The whole thing, the whole thing. From this top spot, we can see it all. That was the, the price. That was 2010. 2010? All are higher, all are higher. How come you don't have more people coming anymore to this mm, place? That's because they didn't are close the place. So special yeah. treatment for us. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you, mate. What's going on with this monkey? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> cock a doodle do. All right, let's go. So not many people come here. They've just unlocked the gate and it's like 4.30 in the afternoon. But um, oh, it just keeps going up. There's another staircase. And here we are. Oh my God. It's massive. That's why I told you. There's no man. Only us. Yeah. It's like no one's been here for years. Be careful. Oh shit. Be, yeah. be careful. It's literally the floor is yeah, yeah, literally okay. rusting away. Yeah. Dude, it's that's okay. gonna, that's gonna crack you at any second. Anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> this is dodgy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hold on to the pole here. Because we do not want to fall. <laughs> it's like four stories up. But who cares? Let's look at the view. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog there. It's been a big day. Jerry, who's got his back turned to us. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, Jerry. Um, if you want a tour, speak to Jerry. He'll look after you. And there is a lot more places he didn't take us. Uh, but for now, I am going to chill out because I'm probably roasted. Good night. Peace out. <laughs>